When your job is teaching innovation and you have a background in biology, having to listen to the nonsense currently being trotted out by vaccine denialists can feel like deja vu all over again, as you once more have to patiently unpick the same old myths, fallacies and unfounded fears. As a result of a recent article on vaccine denialism in the Spanish press, I have come into contact with many of the arguments that at the time, even before COVID-19 vaccines were available, were being spread by groups like QAnon and others, along with bogus, documentaries, peddling insane conspiracy hypotheses that went so far as to deny even the pandemic itself. Starting with disinformation campaigns that can be traced to a few hundred users associated with the previous U.S. president and the loony fringe of the Republican Party, a vast conglomerate of hypotheses with no scientific basis, along with an ignorance of how the immune system or protein synthesis works, to instill doubts about the use of messenger RNA to generate an immune response, and that will be key to public health at all levels for the future. Raising doubts about COVID-19 vaccines is irresponsible, and to continue doing so in the years to come will be suicidal, because it will mean refusing treatment for conditions ranging from malaria to cancer. Facebook, which supposedly has a policy against disinformation about vaccines, but allows campaigns aimed at denialists, has just launched an initiative to remove images related to the subject, while Twitter and YouTube also remove such content. Doubting the efficacy of vaccines makes no sense in the light of the vaccination campaign figures, which verify their efficacy, but let's look at the unbearable lightness of the arguments used by the denialists. In short, let's put a stop to the nonsense, myths and fake science. All technological advances down the years have prompted skepticism and fears that have slowed down their adoption among some groups. If the advance in question is helping us defeat a global pandemic, opposition to it becomes a very serious public health problem, which must be tackled as soon as possible using all the necessary methods, because the potential damage is extremely serious. This leads us, therefore, to the urgent need for procedures to isolate such attitudes and those who defend them. We need passports that allow us to identify, simply and unequivocally, those who unjustifiably refuse to be vaccinated, in order to exclude them from any activity likely to generate a risk of contagion. Leaving something so important to good faith is not only absurd, in the case of people who have demonstrated, moreover, their lack of responsibility and social conscience, but also dangerous. Apps or digital documents that can be reliably verified for any activity, be it traveling or entering a bar, is essential if we really want to put the pandemic behind us. The sooner we put an end to misinformation and denialism, the better for everyone.